we see a change that's coming in this country where people of the younger generation increasingly are considering voting Republican and becoming MAGA. And I think that this incredibly makes sense. What you need to understand if you're young out there is that you're going to make mistakes in life. You're going to tell a blue joke. You're going to say something that's regrettable. And unfortunately, in today's society where we have social media and the internet, things seem to last forever. The Democratic Party and folks like Kamala Harris will ruin your life even 30 years from now if you deign to go against them on even the smallest thing. Even if you reliably agree with them for 30 years, who's to say that 30 years from now you don't apply for some great job and all of the sudden Democrats will go through your old yearbook, find one bad joke that you told, and use that to judge you the rest of your life. We understand as Republicans, as people that are voting for Donald Trump, the importance of humor. One of the Democrats' strategies right now is to go after Republicans as all being hateful racists because a stand-up joke that's known for roasting people made an off-color joke. That shows you just what they think of your ability to have fun. They claim to be the party of joy, but the truth is they're the party of humorless scolds. In addition to that, we can see that young people are having trouble doing things that maybe their parents were able to do, like afford a home. The disastrous policies of big government and big spending have led to it being incredibly difficult for young people to ever get a leg up. We could see that a Kamala Harris administration would be an administration that would increase spending and that would value people around the world, people that were born in other countries, more than they would value you. You would have a difficult time ever starting up a business, ever owning a home or doing the things your parents did because inflation will be so out of control. I understand the promises that come from someone like Bernie Sanders and progressives like that that say, we'll give you free health care, we'll give you free house credits. It sounds good. But the truth is, Bernie Sanders isn't going to have to pay that bill when it comes time to be due. It will be you. That's why we need a president that's going to cut regulations. That's why we need a president appointing someone like Elon Musk that's going to make sure that we're cutting so much of this government spending and waste. Because you will be hardworking, you will be someone who goes out and achieves, but if the government massively spends the money that you're earning hard, you won't have the ability to have those opportunities to generations before you had. So for the reasons of actually wanting to be able to economically thrive without the government constantly interfering with you, and for the reasons of actually wanting to have fun, joke around, and not have to constantly worry that you'll say one thong thing that'll cause your life to be canceled, young people should vote for the party of joy, the party of fun, and the party of fiscal responsibility, deregulation, and the party that believes young people will be able to be the great entrepreneurs and thinkers of the future that will lead our great country into the next generation. You should vote for Trump and Republicans in 2024.